Crash and burn. Hey everyone. Well, wait, we'll wait for the asshole on the motorcycle to go by. Hey everyone. So, um, it's really loud out here. I'm not sure if the lab is going to pick any of that up. Uh, I have no idea at this point. I am attempting to talk about a record and I might have picked one of the least um, decent places. Oh wait, there it is. Now it's quiet. Oh no, wait, there's going to be a ton more cars coming. Okay, let's start over. All right. Fuck. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to be, tonight I want to be, <laughs> tonight I'm going to be discussing Nick Endo's White Heat. This was released through DHR, I believe, back in 1998, if memory serves. This is, I think, one of two albums that she has released. This and, uh, shit, what is it? Cold Metal Perfection, I think, is the other one. Because I will be discussing that here, too. Just that I kind of forgot the album title. It's probably because of all of the noise in the background. I have picked sort of a tricky location to do this one second it's quiet like it is right now and in a couple minutes from now a bunch of cars and motorcycles will roar by and I'll be drowned out by them but anyways yes I want to talk about Nick Endo's White Heat now at, when I was a kid and I grabbed this I was really excited I was as equally excited for this as I was for Carl Cracks solo record on DHR because I was under the impression that these were going to be more um, vocal driven I suppose considering especially with Carl how important his voice is his his physical voice not just his musical voice but his actual voice is to the Atari Teenage Riot um, and I was hoping for something here along the same lines here I was hoping that on this record that maybe Empire or or Carl would show up and uh, lend their vocal talents here and make this record pop a little bit more, maybe have a little more energy. But this record is actually just straightforward noise, which Nick Endo is sort of famously known for, especially considering that she was part of the group during their uh, final implosion while on tour with the Nine Inch Nails when they uh, did their final performance, which turned out to be 30 minutes of noise, and it pissed off a lot of the audience. The Atari Teenage Riot, their final release was live at the Brixton Academy, and that is the recording of uh, said show where they decided to go out in a blaze of noisy glory. And I like Nick Endo's noise. There is, um, there's more heart to it. Whereas at the same time, as far as I'm concerned, all noise does inevitably sort of fall into the cacophony of white noise, the arena of white noise, I suppose, where it just feels very um, typical. It sounds like everything else. And whereas I will admit that over the course of this 34, 35 minute record, all of the noise tracks, they do sort of blend seamlessly and they all get incredibly white noisy. And in that sense, it's disappointing, but I really like Nick Endo. And like I said, there is something she brings. Um, there's a ferociousness to her style of noise that I have found lacking in other noise artists. So in that sense, it does put her above, but at the same time, it's still noise and it's just not for me. So I don't love this. I'm glad that I have this because I'm proud to own this because I really like her and I, I, I can appreciate this record sort of in a once every five years sort of way. So it's not like I hate it, but I just don't like noise. So it's hard for me to find something really insightful or captivating to say about this record. It's cool, but it's overall, it's not really for me. So I think I'll leave it there. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few noisy minutes while I attempted to discuss Nick Endo's White Heat from back in 1998. If you like this review or if you could hear most of this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody because it's easy and it's fun. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I also really appreciate it and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.